isn't looking good. Let's go. Is that an Alpha Nativa? Let's join them. Life signs. We're the only two left. Eve. Eve, pull yourself together. Taki. Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? a strong one. You fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then... <laughs> the damage to your body frame is serious. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Eve, are you all right? He 
here, friend. It's me you want. No! Get out of here. You defeated it, Eve. Amazing. It wasn't an Alpha Nativa. It wasn't, but still so strong. <sighs> Things will only get harder. Maybe. Anyway, please show me the next route, Adam. Right, hold on. Let me take a look at the map data. As the crow flies, the Hall of Records isn't too far from here. But an entire block is submerged. We have to find a way to cross. Are you saying that there's no way? I found it! Do you see the sign behind the stone statue? There's a transportation device there that you can use. What? You really think that these abandoned devices are still going to work? Well, the supply camp was in one piece. Let's just try to stay positive. Uh-huh. Positive. Sure.
exhausted before we even get to the Alpha. Hmm. Let's see what's here. Wait. I hear something. Eve, look up! Hot outsider. Who are you? I'm Royal Guard Quiel. I'm under direct orders from Oracle to protect the ruins. Do you know this is a restricted area? Wait, wait, but we are here to do a favor for Oracle? Even so, I can't let anyone in who isn't qualified. Qualified. If you manage to defeat me, I'll let you pass. Well, if that's the case...
Very good. I underestimated your ability to fight on equal footing with the Alpha Natiba. It was an honor to spar with you. We can enter now, right? Yes. Altes Lavoir has been contaminated by Natibas for a long time. No one has ever made it back alive. However, with you, I have hope. Hypercell's preservation status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. Huh? Wait. There's... There's a legacy here. A legacy? What's that? 
It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Anis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory, 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that has studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity, and the androids humanity had themselves created. The so-called Andro-Ados. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Spear's blessings be with you. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Okay, I'll be waiting.
Not just to finish. hanging in the air. Looks like a human. I think they're alive. What should we do? 
We have to save them from the contaminant. Ah! Ah! What's that noise? No, there's no way. That's impossible.
It's over. Yes. Eve. The subjugation is being lifted. Will the memory stick be destroyed? Because it's already contaminated. No, it won't be. In that case, I'll be floating among the stars. To space. Taki! I promise, Taki. May your memories live on. Forever. Do I have to go through another test? Yes. There cannot be any exceptions. Then let's not waste any time. Just as I heard, outsider. Hm. This place is deeper and darker than the last. Please, be careful.
as hard as I expected. Nice. Let's take a look at the hypercell. The hypercell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive, eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Sphere broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race, with Mother Sphere at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. Some led by Raphael Marx waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that have lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas. Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I. I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be. Andro Ados? Are we Andro Ados? The creatures brought into existence, created by Mother Sphere. No, we're humans. Humans with complete bodies, perfectly in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments, and they can't even survive in space. But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? 
then, why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that. You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypercell. Orkel. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Nitibas. The records in the legacy are all true. All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Nitiba cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? Well, well that still doesn't change the fact that Nitibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Nitiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. Lily, you're behind me, right? Can we please, please slow down? Oh, what is that? <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Yeah. 
run away. I think we should take a break for a bit. I've tried my hacking skills. Not. Was it waiting for me? It has regenerative abilities. The blade alone won't be enough for this one. Oh, my God. 
I didn't think it was going to be this powerful. My arm, it feels strange. The body cell is overloaded. The drone is unstable as well. Will I be able to overcharge again? Maybe once or twice, but no more. Okay, I'll have to save it. Pretty good shape. I think it should smell nice too. Yeah, I smell flowers. But. Ah? Uh, something's fishy. Oh, come on. These are all fake. I guess even the VIPs couldn't see the real ones. Ah! Lily! Lily? Do you hear me, Lily? Targeting the drone first. They're getting smarter. You're definitely not ordinary.
Lily. Lily. Oh, it's connected. Whew. I can see now. What happened, Eve? It was an Atiba ambush. I knew it! Well, are you all right? Yes. It was nothing. I'll give you the details on the way up. Did we make it? I see... all that peg... I'll put an end to it.
there's no call. Behind you! Alpha. Uh, we're in low orbit, so gravity is still an issue. At this rate... We can't just leave the Alpha Natiba here. Lily, use all my body cell power to overcharge the railgun. What? But there's no way you'll survive! It's okay. This is what I was born to do. <sighs> Lily, please! Cell connected. Full power overcharge ready. Activity body cell connect. It's charging right now. Charging complete. Lily, my attack was blocked. Find a way to open its eye again. I'm analyzing it now. I've got it. The upper direct hit. It looks like it's losing nerve connection. One more left! This is it! The last one! Eve! Your body cell! It's empty! Thank you for coming back alive. It was Mother's fear. She must have heard me. No, Lily. It's thanks to you. I was able to come back because of you. Thank you. Adam? I haven't had any contact with him since then. I 
can't even reach him through the emergency communication line. What do you think happened? I wonder if something happened to him in Zion. Could it be? Yes? Nothing. Come on, we've got to hurry. My goodness! Zion! what Adam was talking about. We have to go down. Eve, I'm sensing an alpha signal coming from the presence chamber. Orko, he could be. I'll try to do something here with the exosuit. Eve, hurry to the presence chamber. Okay. I'm going. Be careful, Lily. Taki, and now destroying Zion. Why? What is all of this for? Eve, you're late to the party. How does it feel to be responsible for the fall of Zion? <laughs> what? You can speak. In spite of everything, I do wonder why he chose you. Instead of me. I've already proven this much, but why? He? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're a little on the slow side. I won't let you anywhere near him. There will be nothing left of you when I'm finished. Yeah. <laughs> 
A human? That face, it's familiar. Wait, Raven? From the Legacies? You're right, she's the one who left the records. <laughs> Seems as though I've been exposed to them. She disappeared. Are you all right? Go to Oracle, not me. By that hyperdrive. Just in time. You... your... Orko, your body! This is who I really am. What? I'm not human. The first ever fusion between an Andro Ados and an I am the first of the Alpha Natibas. But then... In the past, I slaughtered countless humans. I was left for dead after the colony extinction. But humans found me and saved me. That was the moment when I lost all reason to fight. After sealing the power of the Alpha, I gathered all the survivors I could and built Zion. I thought I could atone for my sins by protecting them, building a home for them, a safe place. I tried to conceal my identity for as long as I possibly could, but Raven had to be stopped. Have you collected all the Alpha Cores? Yes, except for one. We lost it. Out in space. I see. Thank you. Thank you for giving my life purpose. At last, four cores are here together. Here, this is the master core. Take it and meet the Elder Nitiba. The rest, the rest is up to you.
Everyone, I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help. I'm so sorry. Nonsense, Angel. It's only because of you and Lily that we're still alive. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. I'll go ahead and prepare. Raven. Eve. Hmm. I knew from the very beginning that all along I was nothing but a tool to guide you to him. Even the legacies I left behind became part of the plan. I should congratulate you for realizing the truth and making it this far. <laughs> of course. You won't be able to see him. Shut up! Don't you dare talk about truth after what you did to Taki! Can't you see? It was Mother Spear who deceived us. You would have remained ignorant if not for him. I served him for a very long time. I know him better than anyone. You don't know anything. You don't know his pain, his anger, his agony. All this talk of you being the chosen one, it ends here. Lily, I want you to stay back this time. This is my battle. I can't believe I have to fight in this form. The body of a super weapon came into the mother's But... For him... Spoken truth you don't dare acknowledge. <laughs> Do you think you're just going to complete your mission and head back to the colony? A hero. Unfortunately, you've learned too much. You can't be manipulated anymore. And the information you've gained is no use to Mother Spear or the colony. You will be discarded just like they were during the colony extinction. Like trash!
You did it, Eve. Well done. Why are you hesitating? Because we were comrades? Or because I'm human like you? Except you don't believe we're human. <laughs> Your mainframe's nerve fibers and exospine have all been severed. So now, you won't be able to fight. You... You've taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Who do you think you are? You don't know anything. Kill me. Go ahead and kill me. I wouldn't be your first. Lily, let's go. Eve, stop right there! Finish this! Eve! Eve!
looks like this is where all the Natibas are born. Although... Everything looks so natural. It makes me wonder, is this how real life is born after all? Isn't the Elder a of the top? Waiting. It's like I thought. It was you. Adam. Why is it Adam here? I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades! The people of Zion who trusted you! Tell me why they had to die! Eve... You... You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First... I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this? Gruesome slaughter. Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve. 
I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... Sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Sorry. I can't accept this. <sighs> Eve. No matter how much blood has stained Mother Sphere's hands, and no matter how heavy your burden is to save the surviving humans, I don't want to be controlled by those things anymore. I want to make my own decisions, as nobody else but myself. All decisions. Even the decision to bring you down. All right. This is also very like you. I understand, Eve. However... I still have things worth protecting. Eva, I wish you well. Adam, Eve isn't alone this time. Lily, please, stay out of this. Huh, you wish! What? Adam.
truth doesn't need to be kind. It's only true. Truly are a wonder. I must shed my humanity and become a monster. So now it really begins.
Adam. I'm sorry. Uh, Eve. With this, the history of humans is over. Your will, your actions, your decisions. I just hope that everyone is guided in the right direction. Adam. Goodbye. A starry night. Reading the future is like mapping out the night sky. And sometimes you catch a glimpse of a shooting star falling towards Earth. Yes, seeing the future is just like that. I fully respect your decision, Eve, even if it is a bittersweet one. I will be waiting for you, and I will be watching. Mother Sphere. Is it done? Is it finally over? Yes, it is, Eve and Lily. It is time to go home. We still have things to do. First, let's pay Mother Sphere a visit. We have a few questions for her, remember? I can see the colony! Oh... But...
The purpose of our existence is to eliminate the Elder Naitiba and save mankind. Naitiba or Andro Ados. Is one more human than the other? If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But... but... If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path to the end. That's all I want. Yes. So do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future. Now. Yes. Are you Eve? Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but... Lily, I am the Eve you remember. I was worried that you would become someone I didn't know. Lily. Connection to the colony. Sending protocol. Sensing strong Nativa signals nearby. Switching to combat mode.
Attacking code. Unauthorized access detected. Mother Sphere. You've been watching everything from the beginning. It's done. Let's go back. It's over. You know, I prefer the old Eve. <laughs> but I don't want to become one with Mother Sphere. Starry night, predicting the future is like reaching for the stars themselves. Darkness everywhere, guided only by a distant light. And what that light may be, I wish I could tell you. Perhaps strange new beings will emerge and be hastened deeper into the unknown. That being said, I will always serve the future. Even if the future does not align with what is expected. M Mother Sphere? Nice to meet you, Eve. 
Well done. You've more than met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes, but... Still, I thank you. Enough of this nonsense! This now concludes the EVE Protocol. You can't just spit out words and end things like this! Then, farewell. Wait! Is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. I swear we'll meet again.